everyone, my name is Marcio Correa and you're watching my Marcio TV. This is a straightforward to the point video on how to install a virtual PC and Windows 10 technical preview. The same technique could be used to install other operating systems if you care to try. If you don't know what a virtual machine is, think of it as a fake computer you're able to install an operating system in other applications without affecting your actual computer files and settings. This task of course will use space on your hard drive and might require other resources. Your machine should have the following to run smoothly. Windows 7 operating system or higher, Intel i3 processor or higher, or the AMD equivalent, 4GB of RAM or more. You'll have to allocate at least 2GB to the virtual PC. 20GB of space available? You can allocate more if you want. So let's start. First you'll need to download VirtualBox by Oracle. You can go directly to their website via virtualbox.org, but I'll be lazy and type it on my search engine. Click on the Downloads and then select VirtualBox 4.3.20 for Windows hosts x86 slash amd64. Save the file and while the file downloads, let's go and download the ISO for Windows 10 Technical Preview. You can easily find it by going to a search engine and type Windows 10 Technical Preview or type preview.windows.com on the address bar. If you haven't signed up, you can easily do so by following the on-screen instructions and clicking Get Started and then Join Now. If you already joined, then you can go ahead and download the ISO file. Just go to Setup PC, install Windows 10 Technical Preview link, then download the ISO file link. The file is around 3GB, so how long this takes will depend on your connection, of course. After the file is finished downloading, now we're ready to give it a go. On your download list, where you have VirtualBox, click Run. Follow the on-screen instructions like the ones I'm going through and let it do its thing. Once installed, make sure the box for Start Virtual Box is checked and hit Finish. This will launch Virtual Box. So let's get this show on the road. We start by clicking New. Give your virtual machine a name. I'll just call it Windows 10 Technical Preview. Type stays as Microsoft Windows. In version, I'm going to select Windows 2012 64-bit and click Next. If you run into trouble during this step or get an error, I have some suggestions at the end of the video that might work. Now select how much RAM you want to allocate. The minimum is 2 GB, but I'll give it 6, that is 6000 MB, since I have 12 gigs available. Select Create a Virtual Hard Drive Now, then select VDI Virtualization Disk Image, then Dynamically Allocated, and finally select how big you want the virtual hard drive to be. I'm giving it 45 GB, but 25 GB should be enough. Your virtual machine is now created. Time to install the Windows. Double click on the virtual machine. A pop-up will ask you for a location to run. Click the folder and select the location of the Windows 10 ISO. Mine is in the Downloads folder, so it was easy to find. Select it and click Open. Then Start. The virtual machine will start launching Windows Setup. You'll have some pop-ups regarding mouse being found, keyboard, etc. You can also make it full screen by clicking View on the top. If you do this, you'll get a pop-up showing you how to revert back. This process took 7 minutes for me or so. This will vary depending on your computer. The virtual machine will cycle through restarts as if it was the real thing. Once it's done, you'll be able to set up your computer like you normally would. Your start menu will act as if it was only a keyboard and mouse device, even if you're running this on a surface. The size of your hard drive will be as big as what you allocated during the virtual machine setup process. But that's pretty much it. You can install things as you would on Windows normally and test them under the new environment. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and share to let other people know. Good luck and thanks for watching. When I first tried to install a virtual machine, I couldn't get 64-bit versions from the selection menu. Even when I proceeded with the Windows 8.1 32-bit version, I hit a wall. The error generated was related to virtualization being turned off on my BIOS. I have an HP computer, so I had to go through my BIOS settings and change the following. Under Security, System, Virtualization Technology, I had to switch it on. Depending on your computer, you might have to do a search on how to turn it on yourself. Once I restarted the computer, I had Windows 2012 64-bit options available and was able to proceed without a hitch. The other problem, when starting a virtual machine, you might notice that Windows will try to reinstall again. Just hit cancel and it will load Windows normally again.